Hafiz Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed introduction to array. We had seen that an array is a collection of elements of the same data type with a very common name. And onto that, we further discussed that the types of array were basically generally two one dimensional array and what we call multi dimensional array. In multi dimensional array, we have seen that they can be further subclassified into 1D, that is. 1 dimension, I mean 2D, that is 2 dimensional array, 3D, 3 dimensional array, 4D, up to ND. Today, we are going to talk about what is 1 dimensional array, and on that particular journey, we are going to look at the definition of 1 dimensional array. What are the type of operations are there for 1 dimensional array, and finally, we are going to implement. So, let's start to see what actually it is one dimensional array so as we said earlier an array it is a collection of uh, uh, elements of the same type so one dimensional array will be the one that has got uh, actually only one row so it has got one row but has got no columns and actually, sometimes it's called up a list, or basically it is called up a, a vector. So what we are saying, it is it is actually accessed by what you call indexes, and this particular indexes actually start from zero to n. For example, if you've got an array A, which has values, let's say 20, 30, 40, and 50, then our indexes should start from 0, 1, 2, and 3. And basically, uh, also we are saying that one dimensional array uh, Syntax, it's a very simple and very straightforward. So it is syntax. Actually, we are saying it follows the data type. And then we have an array name. And finally, square bracket. And inside that particular square bracket, we have got it is a size. So the data type basically it can be any other type just like what you call char, float, double or int and then the variable name must follow what you call the variable name convention as in our previous video you can see what are the convention how uh, the names or identifiers are right and then the size must be a constant value therefore this one actually takes us into what we call now the array operations. So basically, the, there are three types or common array operations. So these particular operations, basically, uh, they are what you call the type of array declaration. So the first one, it is the type of array declaration. And the second one, it is array elements access. And the third one, basically, it is an array element insertion so these are the three basic types of an array so if you want to conceptualize and see how it looks like so for example if we have this particular array a which basically has 
some values, let's say 10, 20, and 30. So, basically, uh, and this is our index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, when uh, we are talking about uh, the array types, uh, uh, the array types declaration, how can we declare? How many ways are there to declare an array? So this is one of the way whereby you can declare uh, an array by uh, giving him some value or leaving some value onto it. So maybe uh, one of them, say a uh, int a, this particular array may be 20, and onto it we are putting up 10, 20, 30. So this is one way how to declare up array. When we're talking about array element access, array element access, they are actually access through the index. So this is how array element access, it is done through the index. And finally, how are they inserted? Uh, what are the algorithm to insert an array here or to insert up an array here? So basically, uh, in our future video, we are going to go into details and see these three types of array operation. The type of uh, uh, an array of how many ways can we actually uh, define or declare an array, how can we access an array, and how we can insert an array. So with that particular note, here yeah, we are saying now we want to go and implement into Dev C++. How do we implement uh, a, a, a simpler operation uh, among these three operations? So let's go to Dev C++ and see how we can actually operate, how we can actually uh, implement. So basically, we are, uh, for implementation, it's a very simple one. We're going to ask up a user uh, to enter up their name. So in implementation, we are asking up a user to enter the name and then we capture that particular name and display it. So that will actually uh, deliver for us how we can actually implement. So on this particular one, here I'll have a name. So if you want to, uh, to, do, uh, to capture names, so you have to use up uh, uh, an array. So here we'll have char, uh, char name and we give it our value maybe of 30. So basically uh, here what we are trying to do it is we are declaring up an array. So this is a type of declaring up an array and that is one of the operation. We have seen there uh, uh, there are several ways how we can declare up an array. And then basically what we are trying to do here, we are trailing up a user, print f to enter up their names. We say what is your full name. So that will give up a prompt to make up a user to enter up their full names. After that, we are using up the gets method, our function gets name so we are getting up the name by storing so here basically we are storing here we are storing our array and uh, this is how we store up our array so we are storing up our array and then we want to print whatever you have stored so we say print f and uh, basically what here uh, we are saying is very uh, simple that uh, your full name are so our full names are and then uh, we are having our former specifier percentage s and basically we are putting up our name so in this way, what we are trying to do here, we are actually accessing. Here we are 
accessing our array so that particular last sentence we are going to access our array so basically uh, that is how it will look like and that is how our code uh, basically will do so let's run this particular code and see what happens so when we run this particular code it actually prompts us to tell us what is your full name so i'll write up my full name that is abdul rahman ahmed mohammed so i'm writing up my three names and actually it tells me your full name is abdul rahman ahmed mohammed so in this particular lesson basically we actually by demonstrating a one d dimensional array uh, we had declare an array after declaring up an array we had a, a, a display or access that particular array and that makes up the at the end of this particular lesson and uh, however don't forget to subscribe into our next lesson and our last lesson basically we're going to go into details and talk about what actually it is uh, the types of declaring an array thank you very much for listening until then mm -hmm.